Hi, uh, we are here at our site visit today at the Plus Grow Merchantry. It's a warehouse, and let's let's go check. key component of for my design which is an eco-friendly polytherm brick I have applied the HP bricks which are the horizontal bricks um, as you see these these voids these are mainly um, done for the insulated purpose so the brief of this project was to have as much as eco-friendly materials being applied and because masonry is a huge part as you can see this, uh, this place is huge and masonry is going to take most of its space so which is why we try to make brick as much as sustainable as possible. Um, so these allow for thermal insulation, a little bit of sound insulation, as well as um, they are good. I mean, overall, if you see, um, it weighs uh, equivalent to the size of five bricks. So that way, the construction speed also, you know, it speeds up the the pace of the construction. And uh, yeah, the, but the challenges that I faced were as follows. So when I'm dealing with say the front facade or the overall facade of the project, I needed to make sure that I didn't want the huge columns to be visible. So what do I do there? Since the bricks are huge in size, I could easily chop it as much as possible and make it look like a collar wherever the column was being placed. You'll be able to see it in the next few slides. So the, these are the certain details which I've tried to work upon and I was very clear like to make it look more neat and mag, you know, huge and rightly said like a monumental building. I wanted to ensure that the bricks are placed in a stack bond one above the other. So the structural integrity played a very important role in that because when you are placing it in alternate layers, the bonding uh, is stronger. But when you are stacking it one above the other, it tends to be a little weaker. So through a collaborative effort with the structural consultant and the client himself, um, what we've tried to work on is the detail is that after every, you know, seven to eight courses, we will pour in concrete, we will shove up the, you know, the uh, topmost portion of it and pour concrete into it. So that acts like a coping beam, which is generally visible in concrete. But here, what you see is on the facade, there is brick but inside actually concrete bara hua hai. So aise karke, these are the ways where you can work out smartly on how you can make your facade look beautiful by just these little little measures that you take and let me show you around. Alright, so we are here at the construction yard and I love being at site with it. What I am here going to show you is the stack bond of the bricks and notice the detail to make, in order to make the facade look seamless we have tried to have like a 50 mm collar uh, this was necessarily done so that wherever the columns and the beams are coming up those get enveloped by these bricks and because we use such huge polytherm bricks we could do that you know the bricks are not brittle they are huge in size so the chopping could be easily done and this this kind of look at the uh, that one that I was talking about the bricks are laid one on top of the other as you can see after four to fifth layer, he is going to pour concrete within the cap that we create in the course of the brick. So that will act like a coping beam to hold this stacking of the brick uh, versus a conventional bonding that we do for the brick. And this will make the elevation of the building look really, really grand and really monumental without going for any cladding material separately. So it also saves the cost of the project and it also made much more sense to act more eco-friendly, act more, uh, you know, innovative in terms of developing these kind of uh, strategies to make the facade look wonderful. So as you see, this 50 mm extrusion of the brick course, which is happening, it will go all around the front facade and make it look all seamless. Thank you.